welcome back to University Arena. Second half is about to start, but I'm here with Nicholas and his dad, Matt. Nicholas just found out that he is cancer-free. He had spinal cancer, but now he's cancer-free, so he's able to sit on Western Michigan's bench. What's it like sitting on the bench for the first time? It's fun. And, um, so you're learning a lot about yeah. the game? Awesome. How's this experience for you to see him in this environment? A lot of fun. He's enjoying it a lot. He's just starting to become a basketball player himself, so it's a wonderful opportunity for him. Are you going to become a Western Michigan Bronco? Maybe. Would it be awesome? Yeah. Awesome. Thank you, guys. Back to you, Noah. Sam Atlin. Yeah, Connor, your sweater is something else, but I don't know if it compares to my turtleneck. Western Michigan is coming off a great win last week as Coach Shane Clifffell recorded his 100th career victory here in University Arena. Loyola knows Western is a strong three-pointing team, and all their players can play every position, so she knows that they have to get out to every player at the three. I spoke with Coach Kate Ochter earlier in the week and asked her if Sister Jean would be here, and unfortunately, she will not. The team scored within the first 10 seconds of the third period. You put it away in the last. 10 seconds. What was working for you guys offensively? Coach, the reigning national champs in Minnesota Duluth are back in town who are a strong, on puck, and relentless team. How is Western going to match that intensity today? Squeaky, your first career double-double. What was working for the team offensively that allowed you to finish this game today? Your Fala Lala Llama shirt. Is this the new uh, good luck charm for you guys? Might be the new good luck. You might see me in this in January. Awesome. Congratulations, Coach. Thank you. Thank you. Guys, back to you. Sam Matlin on the sidelines. You could tell during that timeout that UC Riverside is very tired and winded. Western Michigan picked up the pace, and head coach David Patrick said they need to get their second win. Now, remember, guys, they just played on Friday and have had one day rest considering they just flew from Colorado, so they haven't had much rest, but they're definitely being affected right now. Yeah, yeah, thanks for that. After that last timeout, Coach Shane Clipfo was pretty adamant with his team about guarding the ball better on defense. Loyola is running somewhat of a fake pick and roll on their offense, so he wants them to guard that a little bit better and be smarter on defense. Also on offense, he's calling out the plays, and the team just isn't recognizing the plays he's calling, so he wants them to have better recognition on the court. Connor. Welcome back to University Arena. I'm here with head coach Steve Hawkins. You knew size was going to be kind of a disadvantage in this game. How much is it, though, a factor now that the game is being played? Minnesota has a strong goalie in Hunter Shepard. How is the team going to solve him tonight? Trevor Gorsh is performing well in between the pipes. How did he change the momentum of the game for you guys? Hey, 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 Sam Matlin here for Bronco Productions, and you already know what's up. This is Broncos in 60. Coach Colt Conrad coming in big for the team last night, scoring in the last 10 seconds. How were emotions in the locker room after the game? Welcome here to University Arena. I'm here with Coach Shane Clipfell here at halftime. It's ugly sweater night, but your sweater is a little more festive than mine. It's a little bit more casual. But you guys have allowed Loyola to turn over the ball a lot more than probably you expected. Is defensively is what working for you guys right now? It was the 27th annual Com University night, and fans were able to enjoy food and beverages before they hit Waldo Stadium. Over seven different Broncos registered a touchdown against Delaware State University, and the 68-0 victory was the largest margin of victory in the modern football era. On the Broncos' first offensive play, junior running back Levante Bellamy went for 40 yards, scoring his third touchdown of the season.